Hey, oh, it's Greener here. It's uh, game three of the Stanley Cup final. And I've been uh, visited again by Alfie. You coming on in here, Alfie, or what, buddy? Yeah. How's it going, man? How's it going? Good, man, good. What's up with the suit? What do you mean? Well, you're all dressed up, man. Any particular reason why? I mean, it's only a hockey game. Vegas. I'm getting my suits ready for Vegas. <laughs> what are you doing out in Vegas? I'm gonna win some awards, aren't I? Am I up for any awards? <laughs> I don't think you're up for any awards this year, no. Alfie. No. <laughs> no, I thought I was. No, you never had that quite of a good season. Well, I look all right, though. Yeah, you're looking good. Okay, you'll, okay. You'll, you'll be fine. E, you'll be fine. E for effort. Yeah. D for delusional, but we won't uh, get into that. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, okay. Another, another time. Another, another time. time. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of my friends tonight, man? And yeah, what's uh, what's up with the uh, Kings jersey? Oh well, you know, I was always a big Marty McSorley fan. I sort of take to the goons, you know. Yeah, I've, uh, uh, I tried to fight him a couple times. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. I don't know if he ever tangled, but uh, if he, if you guys did, you would have remembered it. That's for sure. So, Greener, what about uh, what about the Canadians? What about the Canadians? Boy, I heard it said today. You know, it was the best description I've heard. Bob Ganey somehow managed to hire a man duller than him. So, in <laughs> GM in, 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 in Montreal right now, it's client again. It's called the duller, the dull, and the duller. Dull and duller. Dull and duller. Yeah, man. Like, like I, I, was, I can't believe it, man. Like Bob Ganey could put them any man asleep. I like was <laughs> listening to it, and then you got Jacques Martin. He can put. Basically, they can put people to sleep now in two official languages. Like, like it's just Should so Just start boring. a side business. Yes, sir, man. Like, for insomniacs, tune in to the post-game show of Montreal Canadiens <laughs> this summer, or this this next upcoming season. You'll, uh, you won't be up for too much longer. So, so see, you know, I'm uh, going to... Going to Vegas, and I'm all dressed up. What is there a new word uh, coming down there? Is it for next year? Yeah, uh, well, actually, yeah. Today, the GMs of the NHL, self-servingly, no, come on, <laughs> not a bit, <laughs> approved the new award for the best GM in the, the league. Vasily Award? Yes, yes. I think they'll call it the Vasily Award. <laughs> I like for them to call it the Jimmy Mouth of the South Award after that old manager in the WWF. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. They, what about the Bobby Orr Award that you're saying? Man? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's we'll so work on that one. So many different things that these guys could be doing, and they approve a G. Like when you watch the NHL awards, do you remember at all who the coach of the year is? <laughs> no, no, really. not really. So I mean, like, do you give a crap? <laughs> Obviously, the GM of the year is going to be the guy that wins the Stanley Cup. Well, you know, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. We'll see what uh, who gets to vote on it. GMs, like you know, they get so I don't know. Man, it's just foolish. So what about tonight, man? What about the game? What are you thinking? Oh boy. Well, I sure went with the. Uh, I sort of went with the stats when I was doing my pick and went with Detroit, but I went with my gut. So all the advice that I was given uh, uh, for the last little while, I never paid any attention to it. <laughs> it ended up being completely wrong. Yeah, I was completely wrong on, uh, mm. uh, on my 4-3 to three prediction in the first game. And <laughs> yeah. We didn't get a video for the second game, and uh, they're in tough. They're in tough, boy. All the stats are against them. Like, you can say stats, whatever, but they do mean stuff in sports, man. Like Absolutely. They truly do. And, uh, you know, Detroit's a top five team. And since 1993, every team that's won the Stanley Cup has been a top five team. Pittsburgh finished eighth, so they're out of there all together, right? Uh, the team that wins game one on home ice generally wins, <laughs> generally wins the series, right? And if Pittsburgh win, or uh, Detroit wins two games in a row. So if Pittsburgh, you know, craps the bed tonight, and don't win another game, or you know, goes down three to nothing. Well, you might as well mail it in. Like, give it up, boys. You ain't coming back. So you gonna make a prediction on tonight's game? Ooh, prediction on tonight's game. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, let's see if we can. If Sydney and the boys can uh, see if they can make this an interesting series and at least win tonight's game, and then set it up for at least you know a, a, a game five or a game six. Because if it goes down to that tonight, then that's too bad, man. It's like a be over in four. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? like, definitely. That's too bad. I'll call on Pittsburgh. I'll go and stick with game one prediction. <laughs> four, four, <laughs> four, three. Four, three in OT. And uh, what about you? You going to put a score out there? No, 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 no score. Gonna keep man. it cool. Just keep it cold, man. I'm going to uh, Pittsburgh tonight over Detroit. Uh, set it for the last two nights, so I'm uh, hopefully right at least one night. <laughs> <laughs> My credibility is going right down the toilet. <laughs> cool, man. Are we done or what? Yeah, well, we'll just sign off. Uh, hope everybody gets to enjoy uh, game three of the uh, playoffs.
Don't forget to read the blog on puckdrop.ca slash blog. And for uh, Alfie, it's Greener signing out. Guys, girls, uh, thanks for stopping in for Puck Drop. Enjoy the game tonight. Greener, you know the drill. Yeah, I got a hit stop. Hit stop, buddy.